Today I am going to teach future perfect continuous tense. It describes an action that will have been in progress for a period of time up to a specific point in the future. So, we will see the rules first. Future perfect continuous tense. We will see the rules first. I, you, we, they, he, she, it, names. These subjects comes, we have to write. Will have been or shall have been verb plus ing verb plus ing future perfect continuous tense means we have to write the first subject i u v they he she it or names we have to write then we have to write will have been or shall have been. Any sentence if you start first we have to start with the subject. Then we have to start with the verb or any structure. You have to know the structure. For any tense you, have, you should know the how to write the structure first we should know. First we have to write subject will have been or shall have been also we can use plus verb plus ing. You know the structure now, how to write future perfect continuous tense. Okay. Now, next, if you are using in the sentence for total time, okay, we have to use for total time for, and if you are using in the sentence starting time, we have to use. Since this is for starting time, starting time. Okay, we'll see the sentence now. We'll start the sentence with since. Okay, using since. First one, we will. Have been working on this project on this project since January. Since January. Now you say, first I told you subject for all the sentence. While you are speaking or while you are writing, you have to know the first which subject, name or any subject you have to write. Then now we are writing, we are going to write or we are going to speak in future perfect continuous tense means should write, will have be. Very important. Then verb plus ing. Now here work. Work plus ing. Work plus ing what they are doing project they are doing project so on this project since morning since january from january they are going to start the project so since january starting time okay are you clear with this first subject if you are writing in future perfect continuous tense you have to write will have been verb plus ing why we are writing verb plus ing here continuous continuing the work so Continuous means verb plus ing. What they are doing? They are going to do the project. Since January. Since they are going to start on January only. Okay. Next. He will be, he will have been. This is a structure. So, you should not forget this structure. Okay. Will have been reading. The newspaper 
reading the newspaper since this morning since this morning so so first we have to write subject then uh, for future perfect continuous tense we have to write will have been reading read is go be here doing one work okay read ing verb plus ing continuous tense okay then the newspaper since morning since this morning now started this morning only reading the newspaper so we have to write since this morning he subject any the subject you have to take uh, will have been for a future perfect continuous tense verb plus ing and what the, what is the matter the, the newspaper since since we starting them this morning i think you can understand with the since sentence okay using the since he will have been studying this book for 3 hours so he will be study he is subject here will have been studying study here verb study in this book for 3 hours is reading the book for 3 hours for we are using here total time okay why we are using for here total time he had read the book for 3 hours okay next one he will have been running r u n n i n g running a business running a business for 10 years for 10 years okay he will have been he is subject here will have been running will have been running running here is verb plus ing continuous so we are writing ing a business for 10 years for why for here we are using we are saying the total time how many years he is doing his business so 10 years Okay, next one. Can I she also? She will have been shopping, shopping for the whole day. she here subject will have been shopping will have been for future perfect continuous tense continuous means verb plus ing i told you shopping verb plus ing for the whole day for why we are using for here total time whole day she is doing the shopping so he she is subject is will have been shopping is future perfect continuous tense ing for means total time the whole day so doing the shopping for whole day total time for total time you have to use for okay kiran will have been driving this car for 10 years kiran i told you name because i have given a more examples in he she i have given so now i am writing name okay kiran name will have been driving 
will have been driving future perfect continuous tense ing continuous means we have to write verb with ing okay now kiran will have been driving this car for how many years total time for 10 years okay total time you mentioned next he will have been living in england for 5 years for 5 years he subject will have been living future perfect continuous tense future perfect tense we have to write will have been we have to add and a uh, verb plus ing living here in england for how many years for 5 years total time uh, using for total time how many years here yeah, lived means 5 years Okay. He will have been singing for three hours. Or we can write she shall have been. singing for three us here we can we can i told you we can use shall have been also or will have been also shall is mostly used in formal context or in british english okay shall will be more, most commonly used in formal context or in british english but will now more common will use more commonly will only okay so but i have given both we can write we can use but it is this one is used in a formal context or in british english okay shall so he will have been singing for three hours will have been first we have to write subject will have been for future perfect tense and continuous for ing continuous tense we have to write ing verb plus ing sing here verb singing for three hours so i told you we can use shall also so i have given uh, this example also shall also we can use she shall have been singing for three hours how many hours total time how many hours Three hours. Now she also subject. He or she anything we can write. I also can write. Shall have been. Shall have been singing. Shall have been singing. Will have been also can use. Shall have been also can use. But this is most commonly we used to use will only more common. So we are using will always. Okay. She shall have been singing for. Three hours. How many hours? Three hours. Total time. Okay. I will have been have been laughing for two hours. Okay. I will have been laughing. See, you you can uh, easily know the verb also. Okay, you can learn verb also here. Laugh, sing, work. They like that, more words: studying, study, read, running, doing something. Okay, so you can learn verb also here. But verb plus ing is very important. I will have been laughing for three hours, two hours. Four means. Total time. How many hours she is laughing? He is laughing, or I am laughing. Okay. Thank you.